It's been approximately 10 days since we last spoke. While well, I'm back with some juicy news, let's dive in. First up, we have the PS5 Pro specs rumors. So the PlayStation 5 Pro console has been teased in a recent video and tweet by Red Gaming Tech, and it's teasing a fairly beefed up PS5 Pro that would offer some decent performance bumps to both the CPU and GPU inside of the console. The current PlayStation 5 console has an RDNA 2 based GPU with 36 compute units at up to 2.23 GHz, while Red Gaming Tech is teasing a heavily beefed up RDNA 3 hybrid GPU with 60 compute units at between 2.5 GHz to 2.8 GHz. This would represent a significant leap forward in terms of raw graphical power. If these rumors prove to be accurate, it would mean the PlayStation 5 Pro would offer nearly double the compute units from its predecessor, which could potentially lead to a marked improvement in visual fidelity and frame rates in next-gen games. The shift from RDNA 2 to a beefed-up RDNA 3 hybrid GPU would also signify a major architectural shift, likely resulting in even better optimization, ray tracing capabilities, and more. However, what interests many gamers beyond just the raw specs is the potential impact on game performance. With such specs, we could be looking at 4K gaming at a stable 60fps or even higher for many titles, and possibly the capacity for 8K resolution for some optimized games. Additionally, the improved GPU might also mean advanced graphical features like ray-traced shadows, reflections, and global illumination becoming standard in most AAA titles. Of course, all of these specifications are still rumored and should be taken with a grain of salt until we get official confirmation from Sony. But if even a fraction of these specs proves to be accurate, the PlayStation 5 Pro will indeed be a force to be reckoned with in the gaming arena. It's also worth noting the implications this could have on game development. Developers would have even more power at their disposal, potentially leading to more immersive gaming worlds, more detailed character models, and intricate game mechanics that weren't feasible before. With competitors like Xbox always looking to outdo their counterparts, it'll be interesting to see how Microsoft responds to these rumored specifications. The next-gen console wars are heating up, and it's an exciting time to be a gamer. In conclusion, while it's always thrilling to hear about potential next-gen specs and improvements, we need to patiently wait for the official word from Sony. But if the PlayStation 5 Pro delivers on even half of these rumored specs, gamers are in for quite the treat. All right, folks, let's shift gears and discuss the PS5 Slim, set to release on November 10th. The standard disc-capable Slim retains its price point at $500. However, there's a bit of a sting in the tail for potential buyers. Sony has raised the price of the digital edition of the Slim to $450, a bump from the previous $400. Now, if you later opt to incorporate a disc drive, it will set you back an additional $80. Doing the math, that totals more than if you initially purchased the standard Slim with the disc capability. So, it's essential to determine early on if that disc drive is crucial for you. A minor change, but worth noting. Sony no longer packs a vertical stand in the box for any edition. If you desire one, it'll cost you $30. However, there might be more affordable third-party alternatives out there. On the plus side, the official stand for the Slim has been upgraded to a metal finish, enhancing its aesthetic appeal and durability. Next big question. To buy the PS5 or to wait for the Slim, the key considerations boil down to two factors. Your anticipated storage needs and the available space in your living area, more storage is always a boon, so at first glance, holding out for the Slim might seem like a no-brainer. If you're leaning towards a disc-capable PS5, this could be true. For those eyeing the digital edition, you'll need to deliberate if the extra 175GB of storage justifies an additional $50. That extra cash could easily go towards a new game, an accessory, or even expanding storage on your own terms. If you're content with 825GB or have plans to upgrade the SSD independently, perhaps saving money now by opting for the current model makes sense. The Slim's compactness is attractive but may not be a pivotal factor unless you're working with limited space. In tighter setups, the Slim can offer more efficient airflow, crucial for performance. Overheating is a real concern, as it can lead to system malfunctions or even permanent damage. Lastly, a word of advice. If you're on the fence, remember that the stock for the first-gen PS5s will likely dwindle fast, especially with Christmas 2023 looming. By the time we hit Christmas Eve, the Slim might be your only available option. Next up we got new rumored PS5 controller, DualSense earbud integration on the horizon. Sony recently filed a patent depicting a PS5 controller with two slots designed to accommodate earbuds. 
but it's not just a storage gimmick. This feature could potentially enable users to pair and even charge their wireless buds via the controller. Illustrations accompanying the patent showcase various possible placements for these slots on the DualSense, hinting at an undecided final design at the time of the filing. This patent filing comes hot on the heels of Sony's big reveal, the InZone Buds. These are gaming-centric wireless earbuds, boasting a 360-degree spatial audio feature, carrying a substantial $200 price tag. And Sony isn't stopping there. The Pulse Explore earbuds were unveiled recently, adding to the anticipation of the upcoming PlayStation Portal as detailed in an August PlayStation blog post. However, a word of caution to our excited readers. A patent doesn't always translate to a tangible product. Big tech corporations, including Sony, are known to patent technologies that never transition to the consumer market. This strategic move often aims to block competitors from leveraging similar concepts. Yet, considering the imminent releases of Pulse Explorer and InZone Buds, we can't help but speculate about an updated DualSense controller announcement in the near future. Intriguingly, this isn't the sole controller-focused patent from Sony that's garnered attention. Recently, they hinted at an attachable touchscreen for the DualSense. And let's not forget about the PS5's access controller. Its associated patents began circulating mere days before Sony's official announcement. Given these precedents, we might just see this new PS5 controller sooner than we think, though its launch aligning with the Pulse Explorer or InZone Buds release remains a long shot. Stay tuned, Hubranksers. The world of gaming tech never ceases to amaze, and we'll be right here to unpack.